Mikel Arteta has finally called out for Thomas Partey's consistency and obviously the deals that are really ready for Martinelli, William Saliba and Bukayo Saka in particular. Those are the three two stories we're going to be talking about in here onto the Rokani Media Football. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, lower right bottom corner, smash the subscription button. After smashing it, hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this channel. Rokan David is my name and obviously Thomas Partey for the very first time Mikel Arteta has come out and really given his honest view about his repetitive injuries at Arsenal and obviously he has urged him to find a little bit of consistency into his game because each and every time he's away Arsenal look like they're vulnerable but when he returns Arsenal look very much strong and that's why you saw them beat a side which goes by names of Spurs by three goals to one now Today is match day. Arsenal is playing a side which goes by the names of Bordeaux Glimit. I think it's going to happen at 2022 20, hours and we'll be here to really let you know what the match is going to be about as far as Arsenal beats that side which goes by the names of Bordeaux. But obviously, lots of players are supposed to are expected to really get some playing time and obviously the French players are really going to be playing in here for you. The likes of Marquinhos, Fabio Vieira, Takohiro Tomiyasu, Kinti and Matt Tana, the likes of uh, Katie Aris Nelson and very many others are really expected to come in and really play for side which goes by names of Arsenal in this game of football and we brought you the preview that is onto the channel and now let's get into the reason as to why we are here it's all about the story of Thomas Party. now Mikel Arteta has said Thomas Party has not had the consistency over the past months with the injuries he's been in and out he did it a big performance versus spurs he contributed to the team in an exceptional team way he needs to play regularly and find consistency at the at that level now one thing that michael has got wrong is that he hasn't had the consistency over the past months not over the past months the statement would have been ever since we signed thomas Partey, he has not been consistent for this team because he plays three, four games, he gets an injury. He misses three, four games, he returns. He plays three, he gets an injury. And his recent scenario has been him getting an injury in training and he missed out on three games. Arsenal versus Aston Villa, Arsenal versus Fulham, Arsenal versus Manchester United. He returned in the game of Arsenal versus Brentford. He went to the international duty as he was warming up to play for side which goes by Brazil as we're going to play side which goes by names of Ghana. Sorry, as his team of Ghana was warming up to play for set to plug in a set which goes by names of Brazil, he got an injury in the warm-up and he was flied back to London Conley and then he played close to 73 minutes in the game of Spurs versus Arsenal. So to me, I really believe he has not been consistent ever since he came in for Arsenal. Even last season, he played just 28 games for Arsenal out of the possible close to 40, 50 games he would have played for side which goes by the name of Arsenal. So it shows you that this guy is really inconsistent and I've always told you that he's really going to cost Arsenal lots of seasons. Arsenal fans won't want to hear this but He's really good. He's one of the best CDMs into the Premier League. But obviously, when you're not having him, you are really in typical trouble because he is always contributing to his best whenever he's fully fit. But how many times is he fully fit? The pendulum settles to the times he spends when he's unfit and injured for side which goes by name of Arsenal. This is why the manager... Mikel Ateta has come out and really sent his message, this message to him that Thomas Party contributed to the team in an exceptional team way, but he needs to play regularly and find consistency at that level. Now, calling for consistency for Thomas Party is a huge call. To me, it's really a huge call for Thomas Party because him and consistency of being fit on the field of play are really parallel. Ever since they last met when he was at Atletico Madrid, but when he really crossed to Arsenal, they have not yet made. Thomas Party is one of those players that I really love. I don't support Arsenal, but I really like the way he plays that central defense midfield area and the way he controls the midfield for Arsenal and the way he really gives the likes of uh, Odegaard and Gwent Xhaka to play so much high up the pitch and 
they don't do it they're playing with Sambi Lokonga because Sambi Lokonga needs a lot of help because he cannot play that single pivot alone so Mikel Arteta making this alarm to Thomas Partey really looks to be something that has been having at his heart and really wanted to really release it out to call for consistency from this guy and I believe this is not going to work out until Arsenal brings in another central defense midfielder that is the caliber of Thomas Partey reason being Thomas Partey is going to clock 30 years this season you know that very well and him le, let me see let me first check here Partey Party, 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 party. All right. June next year, Thomas Potter is going to be is going to be thirty years. Now, if at all someone has been really accumulating all those injuries below thirty years, what do you expect him to be like when he really clocks thirty? Because even players that have not been injury prone, when they hit thirty years, they really start to experience injuries that really keep them out for long so i'm so i'm so much worried about thomas Partey and the consistency at arsenal and i really believe that Mikel Arteta wouldn't have been saying this if at all he's not fed up of this guy as far as injury is concerned as a player he loves him but his consistency is really affecting the team of arsenal because he gives them the balance that they really need because games of football are won and lost in the midfield area and i believe that's where they are that that's why they're in for danilo uh, do Louis, D no, not Louis Diaz. It was Douglas Louise at the end of the transfer window, but they failed to get none of those. And what really hit them bad was that El Nini injury that we is going to see him out for months. And obviously, he was the he was the second in command for Thomas Party. If at all, he really got an injury, but all that never went into the plan and he got an injury and Arsenal were fidgeting to bring in Douglas Lewis or Danilo Dills that never really matured at the 11th hour. So that is Thomas Party for you. Thomas, sorry, Mikel Arteta calling for his consistency and regular playing time. Then afterwards, Mikel Arteta had the following to say about the deals of Sally Basak and Martinelli. He said, obviously, we have to plan for the future and we are all working on it. Edu is on top of it. We try to do things in the right way and we want the players that are, in our opinion, have a big future for the club. So, talking of the big future for Arsenal, <laughs> He has used the right word. Saliba, 21 years of age. Bukayo Saka, 21 years of age. Martinelli, I think, 21, 22 years of age. Obviously, it shows you that this is the big future for Arsenal. If they can happen to tie Saliba to a long contract of like five years at Arsenal. Saka, <laughs> five years at Arsenal. Martinelli, five years at Arsenal that will be one of the biggest achievements they would have achieved before they go to the World Cup. Because if at all these players go to the World Cup, especially Saliba and Bukayo Saka, because those two are really confirmed, they're really going to the World Cup unless they get an injury. But for Martinelli, it's hung in balance because the manager has not yet never called him recently into what we call... into what we call into what we call the two games Brazil played against Tunisia and Ghana. He never featured because Vinicius Jr. is playing very well and very many others. I believe when they go to the World Cup, especially Saliba and Saka, they'll do the needful and really play very well and they are going to have a very huge demand for their salaries. And I think the agents of Saliba and Saka are doing this knowingly that let's delay putting pen to paper because contracts have already been presented to the agents of Saliba and Saka and then the table but I think the agents are really taking their time to say all right a moment let's wait and see how the World Cup is going to go because Saliba and Saka in the World Cup putting up exquisite performances that raises the bar to to teams like Barcelona Real Madrid and very many others and remember Saliba was one of those players that Barcelona had on their ladder this summer but obviously Arsenal said we are not really even taking him back to Marseille we want him with us so what does that mean it means that Arsenal are in total trouble and Mikel Arteta will be or would have achieved a lot of things to really tie this player on a longer contract because Saliba Saka 
every big club in the world is really eyeing at them and they can throw ridiculous money at them and they can change their minds teams like real madrid psg man city they can come in and pay salary but you're going to get you a salary of 500,000 pounds a week because paying salary by that amount of money really turns his mind off from playing at arsenal so i believe people are saying that the deal is done for saka to earn 200,000 pounds a week I believe Saka will want more. Even Saliba will want more than 200,000 pounds a week because he knows that there are players in his age who are really earning close to 350,000 pounds a week. For Martinelli, I believe for Martinelli it's a done deal because he even agreed to change the shirt number from the one he was really putting on to 11, meaning that he has agreed a deal with Arsenal, but Arsenal has just not announced that deal. But I know he's really going to stay at Arsenal. For Martinelli, I'm 100% okay. This story came in through that Chelsea is interested in Martinelli. I don't believe that Martinelli could go to at Chelsea because there are players at Chelsea that are really more talented than him. The likes of the policies that are really suffering at Chelsea are not getting enough playing time. Now, what of Martinelli? So, I believe Martinelli is going to stay at Arsenal, but Saliba and Saka are the ones into the question in whether they are staying at Arsenal or not. So after that, let's get to this. Mikel Ateta on William Saliba, he said, he has no doubts on William Saliba, and he said, if I look at how he talks about the club and how much he wants to be here, I have no doubts that he wants to continue to be here. So for Mikel Ateta, he's 100% sure that Saliba wants to stay at the club According to how he talks about the club, he has been an Arsenal fan ever since his childhood. And obviously, he has always shown him that he really wants to stay at Arsenal. And obviously, the time Mikel has given him really has really promised to him that, all right, you are really the main guy into that central defense. And he has not betrayed him when he's always in the field of play. But there is something you need to know about this. If at all, he really wanted to be at Arsenal a lot. And he had really been okay with the contract that Arsenal has been that Arsenal has really prepared for him. He would have signed this contract in the preseason because Arsenal really had to go on and do the needful and give him the contract. No sooner had he returned from Marseille, but him and his agent are really taking some time. I don't know what's the problem, but with the suitors increasing in number, they have to use this chance to really see Arsenal giving them a lot of money. I believe £250,000 a week will be the minimum negotiation weekly wage for William Saliba, according to me. Him being praised and held all over that is the best centre-back in the world at the age of 25, sorry, at the age of 21, he would really request for more money. I know he's earning £40,000 a week and they want to really accumulate it and multiply it by five to get him like 200,000 pounds a week. But obviously, he'll want more. He'll want more. I know they're really going to negotiate more. And the shocker of my life will be him putting pen to paper on a new contract at Arsenal before the World Cup. I know he's going to go to the World Cup, play very well for France. After playing very well for France, he'll come back at Arsenal and tell them, please, guys, I play the World Cup. Everyone is hailing me now. Can you please get me such an amount of money? Because money is why these players really are these teams. You get? We've seen very many players really leave their teams they really support and they grew supporting and they went in for other clubs. You get? It doesn't matter what you have or what you've been supporting when you've been young, but it depends on the financial package because every player will know that you never know this might be my last season of playing because I might, get, I might get a nasty injury that can keep me out of football for so long and returning back to the team will be hard. So these players really look at that and they want to go ahead and really utilize that time they really have to go ahead and really earn maximally out of them. So guys, thank you very much for watching in. This is Rock and David. Your reactions to Mikel Arteta calling for Thomas Party's consistency are welcome to the comment section below. Deals of Bukayo Saka and Saliba plus Martinelli ready, but will they put pain to paper onto those deals? Those are the big questions I'm leaving you in here with onto the Rokani Media Football first video of the day. And thank you very much for watching in. I sign out for now. See you later. I hand you over to Almighty Lord and keep it. Rokani Media Football. I sign out for now. See you later.